Right, everyone. Welcome back to here. Hopefully, you can hear me. Just going to test my mic. So I'm going to just scrape the microphone just to see the levels. Yeah, that's right. If it's on the wrong one, I've said this before. If it's on this microphone for this camera, it's total shite. But this one's better. I ain't got no really good mics, but um, this mic is better. So the issue is you have to set it up every single time. Um, yeah. You're right, Alex Saint. You're right, mate. I'm just going to put a bayonet on a crossbow while we're talking. Mr. Live here, Al Ryan, Peter, Aaron, you right, mate? I'm good. You got what well, you've got good news, Alex Saint. What's that, mate? Let me know. That's good to hear. Glad to hear you got some good news. All right, yeah, let us know, mate. You don't have to say if you don't want to. All right, Zed. Yeah, that's nice to hear someone's got good news. Yeah, I'm just um Taking these mounts apart to put on. Actually, I don't need to open them right up, do I? John's life, you right, John? How are you, mate? What you been at? Josh Buck, you right, mate? T2 Coin Seeker, you right? Yeah, so I'm just. This one isn't actually finished yet, but this one is based off of the um, foul uh, bayonets. It's just a lot shorter, obviously, because there's no really. You don't really need a really long one on a crossbow. Um, a pistol crossbow, anyway. I'm just going to put it on the crossbow so it's on it. Peter said someone gave me a load of uranium glass. This makes me happy because I'm simple. Yeah, no, there you go. That's good. Yeah, if that's what makes you happy, that's what makes you happy, isn't it? That's good. Right, Rich. Alex Saints, it turns out there's a petition on reconsidering the offensive weapons bill. I'm not sure if it's worth voting. Well, yes, let us know if you find that. Let, get the get the petition. I'll tell you what, if you want to do. Right, Wolf said, share that with me, and I'll um I'll do a video about it, because I wouldn't mind that. Um, yeah, slightly too late for me. Got rid of all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, I got a, I've got a feeling that would never get repealed anyway, though. But um, it's worth looking into, isn't it? I right, just had a pop up then. John's I've said, all right, been uh, been doing work for the neighbour. After I replace my worn out boots, I may stock stock up on some powder actuated pellets. Nice in two two, I'd reckon. In I don't know, you got a few guns, didn't you, John? Alex said six thousand votes and the goals up to seven thousand five hundred. All right, yeah, let me know. I might be. A, I could. Yeah. If I tell you what, if you do, you know where the petition is now. If you want to. Uh, post the link on my community tab, the latest post, and then I'll um, I'll share it on here. I'll probably do a video. Ian Pemberton from Wales, you right, mate? He says currently locked down on the country estate, uh, and I'm to the fucking teeth. Yeah, don't blame you, mate. Yeah, that's a shame though, isn't it? You got full lockdown over there now. Sounds like a nightmare. Um, I am just about to put a bayonet on a pistol crossbow as we talk. <laughs> I need to decide how I want this. Um, I think I'll have it this side this time. Try to decide what side to have the, the uh, straps. Oh, you got the ah oh, bollocks! I've put them on the two. I've put them on the wrong side. All right, that's right. I want the things on the same side. I put one on one side, one on the other. Look, it's all right. Let's slide off. Yeah, let me know, Alex, if you're still there. When you've posted that link, I will go and um, share it. So I will be on properly. I just want to whack this on quickly while I'm on. This also gives me a chance to show it off. This one isn't actually technically finished, but I wanted to see what it looked like on the crossbows. Al Ryan said, have you listened to the songs I listed? Not yet, mate. There's, I'm, I'm going to leave it a couple of days till I'm um, in the mood for music listening to again. Um, if that makes sense. Because there was, I listened to like four hours worth that day. So I will do. I'll just come. I'll gradually come back to them. But maybe months. 
for you know, might be a month till I've listened to them. Ian says he's got semi automatic pistol and two crossbows. Nice. Uh, Wolf says the bayonet looks sweet, mate. They're ready for selling it soon. I reckon uh, I should have them ready next week. I reckon. Um, Wolf said I I had a bit of a weird week this week. I started them all, and then I don't, something came up. I can't what it was. But yeah, I never got them bloody finished. Um, but I've got five going at the minute. So yeah, different models as well. I did think I was gonna do it. I was I did think I was gonna to have to do away with this one because when I originally did it, it had a slightly wobbly blade. But I think it was because the glue wasn't dry, but it's solid now. Nice one, Wolf said. Yeah, uh, you'll definitely get one. Um, I'll sh when I do the video, you know, even if I get 10 people, you asked really early about them, so you'll definitely have one. Um, you can have first pick of what you want, really, because you did ask early on, as I say. Um, who's on? Uh, John said, uh, oh, Richard, oh, Timbo, that was it. You're right, Timbo. Richard said, seen an old weightlifting channel I used to follow, has come back after four months' injury. Glad he's recovered. That's good, Rich. Oh, that's good. Funny thing is, I've got slight sciatica at the minute because I haven't been doing a lot. I'm going to have to do some fucking exercise tonight or tomorrow. John said, Mike, I think I mentioned my newest gun on Twitter a while back. Uh, but three and a fourth is coming sometime soon. Peter, I always forget to like the stream. So thanks for the reminder. I'll be honest with you, Peter. I always forget. I always forget to like people's streams every time. Irishman, right, mate. Good to see you on. Tactical said, Waddles in, turns his back to the camera, and pulls a Mooney. <laughs> Al Ryan said, Because it seems any comments I write on YouTube do not show. Well, there you go. You, I can see yours. Zed said, how about a bayonet for an air rifle? I probably could do that. Um, there's a couple of issues with bayonets for um, air rifles. Brake barrels, you know what I mean? Barrel could come down. Um, but, yeah, oh, that would definitely be doable. You're right, Jake. Yes, I'm gonna have to go for a walk one night. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm getting slight sciatica in, in my right ass cheek. <laughs> a bit of walking, a bit of stretching to get rid of that. Slim tar, good to see you on, mate. So yeah, i was just what I need, I think, on this is a bigger I need a bigger row ring on this, so it'll actually go round the bayonet. Um but yeah, this is all sort of the good things with these crossbows, you can sort of mod them as you go. But I've just added now, this is this is becoming almost perfect, this one, for my liking. Um, I'll let you know, Jake. I might be able to tonight. I'll let you know how I feel after this. Um, listen out for um, a message. Problem is, I ain't always in the mood after these, but I probably could do with it. I'll let you know, Jake. Um, he was saying, let's go for a walk later. Um, right, where am I? That's just perfect on a side lift. That would, it would be, it would be. Um, right, where am I? Sparrow, you're right, mate. Finally managed to catch a stream. Sorry, mate. Been really busy at work and knackered. Ended up throwing in the towel at night. I don't blame you, mate, if you're knackered. You just want to go to bed, don't you? Um, Alex said, Mike, could you see the comment I posted a minute ago? It'll probably go into my spam. I'll allow it in a second. The Pagan King, you're right, mate. And he said, um, hello, Mike. You are right. Hope you had a great week. Oh, I've had an all right week, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Nothing special, but yeah. I'll let you know, Jake. Uh, <laughs> after, you know, after sitting here for all this time, sometimes you're not really in the mood. Um, Wolf said, said, yeah, I, was, I never missed that. Uh, bad before. I need to catch up on some of your videos, Wolf said. Uh, I'm just going to find this video quickly. Not video, this link for this petition. I need to go into my YouTube studio. Oh, I won't be long. Because, yeah, what that, what normally happens, that will go into held for review. Um... Oh, fuck. That's why that bloke didn't fucking... Someone wanted to buy a quiver, and I wondered why they hadn't replied to me. The message is in the fucking um, spam fucking thing. 
Alright, they've all disappeared now, that's weird. Um, fucking hell, I've got loads in here. That's annoying. Right, I'm just going to allow them all for now. I'll be back in a second. I'll be able to see you in a minute. How the fuck do you allow that one? Uh, YouTube's fucking up. I'll find it in a minute. Tax life. You're right, mate. Slim said, going to go out camping soon. Been inside on the computer too long. I have. Where I've been doing them, I'll tell you what, the other day, oh, this is why I didn't finish the fucking um, bayonets, because the videos I got for the Halloween special, I edited about 10 of them in one day, and it took me nine hours. Why can't I allow these comments? That's weird. That's weird. I've got loads and loads of... Oh, fucking bizarre, that is. I'll, I'll, I'll have to leave that. I'll find it, though. Tactical said George Sprouse prices for his bolts, um, 199 euros for 100. Um, felt like posting go see WC cheaper. It's mad, isn't it? The some of the prices they do for some of their fucking bolts, it, it they don't need to be that dear. It's a shame, isn't it? Tactical, but yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the bolts because I forgot about them. I meant to get them out. These will be ready for sale soon as well. So all of the um, the broadhead tip bolts will be ready for sale soon. Yeah, I actually meant to get them out. SOS Power, you're right, Sam. And he said, I used to do judo as a kid. Um, have you ever done any martial arts? I did judo for a couple of lessons, but uh, with my mate, I didn't really. I couldn't really get into it. it um, I found it too weird. If I could have done it with my friends, just my friends, I probably would have really got into it and, and potentially been quite good at it. Um, but because I had to do it with strangers and often girls, even then, you know, I, I had this thing of not supposed to hurt girls. You know what I mean? You know, it was like 10 at the time. Um, and it just it didn't feel right. I think I was just in the wrong way of doing it. So, yeah. Mate, Mark, good to see you all, Mark. How are you, mate? What time is it where you are? A oh, morning. Chris said, uh, "Have you got any weapons? Have you got any weapons recently?" Um, hello, Chris. By the way, no. Um, what have I had recently? The only stuff I've had recently, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> is stuff I've made myself. Double tail boot, right rigs. Yeah, the only stuff I've had is stuff I've made, basically. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's weird. My channel shit's fucking up on my comments. Let me go to my channel and have a look. But yeah. It's all right, Emma. Community tab. You never know. It might have just gone straight on there. Nine comments. No, it's not on there. Whoever was saying about doing the um, petition. Yeah, it's not on there. Um, SRS person, I always wanted to do karate and you could punch people, but it turns out judo is quite badass. It's basically wrestling like jujitsu. Yeah, funny thing is, I was thinking about judo recently. I don't know why. I have no idea why I was thinking about judo, but I was. Um, but yeah. Yeah, judo's more um, throwing people about, and it sort of thing. No, it learn, learn, throwing them about, chucking them on the ground, sort of thing. But you know, you can um, incapacitate people very well that way, can't you? I don't know a lot about judo, but um, yeah, it's you don't do kicking and punching in judo, do you? It's more about using someone's sort of own momentum to slam them to the floor, really, isn't it? Sort of thing, that kind of stuff. I'm no expert, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to, um, but yeah. Yeah, I nearly did, Sam, but, um, yeah. 
Nature Mark's at 7.50 here, Saturday morning. Nice. Oh, you're up early then, Mark, yeah. Um, Wolf said, is Wales in full lockdown? I think it is, by the sounds of it. Chemical, he said, you sound and look drunk. Totally sober, mate. I'd admit if I was um, drunk. Nah, totally sober. Breathing license application. Hello. He said, I think Wales is in lockdown. Apparently they ban non-essential items being bought from shops. Fuck's sake. Jake said, uh, that's kickboxing with the, the kicking. <laughs> exactly. Zed said, I uh, hope my stories were not too lengthy. I didn't take you too long. Have you done all of them yet? No, I've still got to do two more of yours. I read the second one, though, Zed. Very interesting. I won't say no spoilers. I've still got to do the last one yet. Um, but, yeah. it it Most of what it was was um, a lot. What it is, it's when you use – actually, yours I didn't. Actually, no, I'm not going to say nothing about yours, Zed. But um, put it this way. <coughs> Some of them needed um, text-to-speech programs. <coughs> and some of them are crap. But I found a really good one in the end. Um, and the problem is, you if, if the commas and the full stops aren't in the right places, they don't read it out right. So I have to read the whole thing uh, and then get it spoken and then each time work out where it needs changing. I mean, that's what it was. And then add the pictures. It didn't bother me, though. Nine hours on the fucking computer. That's fucking uh, that's a regular day for me. Sometimes. Major Mark said, no lockdown here, but the island border is closed. Pete said, anyone old enough to remember old-style wrestling? Giant haystacks and Big Daddy. I can remember that, Peter. I can remember that. I used to love that. Wolf said, said banning non-essentials is crazy. You're already getting something else. Exactly. Jumbo Sabu said, I learned Ludo a few years ago. The art of self-preservation of only a board game. And <laughs> SRS said, yeah, judo is basically standing wrestling, throwing them down and putting them in the position where you're in control and could kill uh, while you're standing. Jiu-Jitsu is the same, but on the ground. Oh, nice one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting, that is, Sam. I don't know why I was thinking about it the other day, but yes, literally yesterday or day before, I was thinking about um, judo. Major Mark said, I'm up early uh, to sand back my car. Oh, what, you spraying it or something, Mark? JBO, bits and bobs, right? Jim, good to see you all, mate. Chemical, chemical, chemical. Said, take care of your health and your body and your body, my big bro. There you go. I'm, I'm trying. Alex Saint said, Mike, I was going to get a replica pistol for 75 quid, but I want to ask you, do you need to have licenses for them? Where are you buying it from? If you're buying it from a standard shop, like a proper online shop, they'll only sell you the ones that are legal without a license anyway. They won't sell you it if you need something else. If it's if it's pre 1800s whatever replica, no, just buy it, have it on your, have it, do whatever you want with it. You know, have it on your wall. You know what I mean when I say do whatever you want with it. Don't go out of it. Rich is a sumo wrestling is more up my street. Just need to be heavier than my opponent to have an advantage. <coughs> nah, it's all right. Yours is good, Zed. It's just, yeah, there's just a lot of work in all of them. Getting the pictures. Big Ped, you're right, mate. Good to see you on. That was Zed. Nine fucking hours. Eh? Epic Halloween video income. Yes. That was nine hours of editing. It's going to be at least two hours long. It should be pretty good, I think. It should be good. All uh, right. Cat weasel. I remember cat weasel. Weirdly enough, my brother mentioned the word cat weasel earlier because there was an old bloke down the road who they called cat weasel. So, yeah, the, the words cat weasel has been spoken in my house tonight. Weirdly enough. Wolf said old school wrestling was called World of Sport. That's it. Well, did you know World of Sport has actually been brought back? Yeah, World of Sport has come back for a bit. Zed said I used to teach a keto. It was great. You got to play with swords and sticks as well as the other stuff. That sound that does sound good, Ted. Major Mark said old school wrestling was so much fun. I used to watch it in black and white. Uh back with back yeah, black and white with my babushka. Yeah, nice. Alex Saint said I was so I was gonna buy a Wolf for PPK pistol with the VCR app. Can I buy it? I don't know. I would assume they're gonna say if you try and buy a Wolf for PPK, they'll say Show us your VCR, whatever, and if you or whatever you need to show them. If you can't, they won't um, show you. 
Chemical said, "Does Babushka mean girlfriend?" I assumed that's what he meant. That's what my. That's what I assumed. Um, Major Mark meant. Um, burn government property. He said, "Are there any guns you can fire without a license?" <coughs> Oh, grandmother. Oh, was it grand is that grandmother? Oh, nice one. So Babushka's grandmother. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I was like chemical. I thought that maybe. Um, is there any guns you can fire without license? If I went out with my cousin, I could shoot any of his guns on private property and not own them. Major Mark said, just touching up the paint job. I have a road worth inspection. And my brother's having to do all of his car, or oh, not his car, his van, our van. Um it's all bloody rusty in that. T two said, "Did Shotokan in the uh, in the early days? Then went to Taekwondo. Uh, still the streets are lawless." Irishman said, "I think the wrestler in the mask. Yes, Kendo Nagasaki. Yeah, I remember Kendo Nagasaki. Zeus Nobelwacker. He said, "How'd you do that? That's thing. He's not that. I love the names that come on here. <laughs> Get madder and madder. City of Figs. Right, mate." Is it like an, um, an old Russian lady? Oh, I'll get you now. Jay Master, that's going. Not bad, not bad. A bit hectic tonight, but, but that's good. I don't mind. Wolf says, Ed, Kendo Nagasaki was a factory worker from Wolverhampton. I think he was. I think he was. And he had a finger missing. Yeah, I, I remember old Kendo Nagasaki. I remember them trying to take his mask. And they did in the end, didn't they? Um, but yeah, I remember all of that. Yeah, yeah, good old world of sport. So, yeah, there's my setup now. So I've got bayonet, handle. I'm saying about these bayonets, if anyone wanted to, you don't have to have it as long as this. If you wanted to, I can actually cut this off so it's only held on with one mount. Screw a screw in here so it's even more secure. You don't have to have that there then, and you can get your hand right up. I just added the two, so because you're never going to use this as a knife anyway. It's a purely bayonet. So you've got the quiver underneath. Now I've just added on this side, I need to put black things on a light. Mick McManus. Yeah, my mum always says about Mick McManus. See, you figs that I'm having trouble getting my 80 pound string on the boat. Any tips? Have you got those um, bastard string things, the cocking string thing? So you cock it with the string first. I can do a video on that if you want. <clears throat> Jake said he would use it as a knife. <laughs> Peter said, um, Major Mark said, yeah, but I wish my grandmother who loved wrestling. Yeah, that's not a term that gets used very often over here. I bet everyone when they had Babushka thought of Kate Bush. <laughs> Peter said, who was that wrestler who had the tantrums? I think he was Irish. It was Mick McManus, was it? Tim was a big daddy giant A stacks, all the old ladies rings. Yeah, it's hilarious when you think about it, all the old ladies watching it. Yeah, City of Figs, what you do, you put a, a stringer on first, and you cock the crossbow with the stringer, then you put the string on, and then you basically pull the trigger, and then, yeah. But I can show you a video of that if you want. If I, Actually, I've got a video of it. Look at my video about stringing a crossbow. I'll show you. <coughs> yeah, some names here for the old wrestlers. Irishman said my grandmother used to love Big Daddy. And, oh, yeah, bomber Pat Roach. Pat Roach was in a lot of films as well, One is The Baddie. Indiana Jones, Conan the Destroyer. Alex said, Mike, did YouTube ban the comments I posted again? I'll have a look in a minute. I never, It never came up. Um, I didn't come up on there. It's not come up on that community post. Which community post are you posting it on? Like the newest one. Yeah, it might be shadow band. I don't know. Zed said Kate Bush didn't know what Babushka meant, apparently. Then there you go. That's it. Big Pet said, just taking the dry fire out my crossbow, mate. I said the other week about losing the plastic pin for safety. I meant the dry fire pin. Uh, just seen your video on it. Fucking pain in the ass. You was having that issue, was you? Yeah, there's a couple of things you can do. You can either take that off, or sometimes you need to cut a bit off your um, bolts. I ain't got none done here, but yeah. 
these bolts, if you look at the ones you originally get with the crossbows, the bit at the back is longer. Right. Uh, so who is it? Yeah, Alex saying, post a comment on the the community thing that says no live stream tonight. See you all next weekend. Um, links won't just come up anyway, but uh, they normally go into held for review. The issue is, after my held for review shit is not coming up properly. It's just come up now. Not your comment, but... Likely spam. So it's not in that either. Published. No. Do I have any snipers? Closest thing I've got to a sniper is an air rifle. Peach, you're right, mate. Chemical, he's saying hello to you. Yeah. I've got rifles with sights on. So yeah, I got sent ages ago those really expensive um, O light um, lights. But the way I set this up, you can't really use it on it. It's too much stuff on there. So I thought, fuck it. <coughs> There's, I can get a weaver. I'm going to change them things to black eventually. But yeah, so now I've got a light there. I quite like the lights on top. They light up the rail. The problem with the torches underneath at night, you can't see to load the gun. People forget that. You're actually better off with a torch on the top because it lights up the rail. If you have the light underneath and it's pitch black, where are you gonna, how are you going to load another bolt in? Can't see what you're doing. Um, see you fixed it, pistol crossbow, Ravi Ninja, right, mate? Said haven't been able to watch. Well, you're on that list, mate. Beats a blued an old hickory knife just a few hours ago. Nice one. Do you follow all the instructions and that? Um, I, I'm not, I don't mean that in the wrong way, but I know, you know, because um, you have to clean it. I don't know about yours. My one, you have to like clean it multiple times and put oil on. And Sparrow said, have you got any prices for the pistol bayonets? Sorry if you already said, I haven't thought of a price yet. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into how much I reckon it, um, how much it costs to build. And then I had a bit of labor on Lewis said, our O-Light's actually good. Seen a few sponsored vids about them. They're probably the best flashlights I've ever had, um, Lewis, in all honesty. You're right, mate, by the way. Um, but they're very fucking expensive. That light on there is, la is laughable, right? That light there probably costs more than everything on this crossbow and the crossbow put together. But I didn't buy it. I got sent them for reviews. They're supposed to be mounted here, but obviously, with the amount of stuff I have on, you need it. But I think they're better up there anyway, because it lights up the rail, as I said. You can see in the dark. But I've even been sent that really expensive one, the 250 quid one, I think it is. Let me find it for you, Lewis. Um, right, let me see the in here. This bloody thing. Really good light, PL, the Valkyrie PL Pro. It's that 250 quid fucking light. But they have like a magnetic um, charger. This one strobes. You can't actually see that strobing, but that's strobing. That's strobing so quick you couldn't see it. Quick release. They're a bit expensive. But some of their, some of their flashlights, yeah, brilliant. City of Fig said, must be where I'm weak. Need a man about the ass. <laughs> I don't know. Well, watch my video. You'll see it there. Pink said, fuck. Uh, no, I didn't grease it. So I'm going to have a little shoddy. But better, it makes it look old. It should be all right. You have to, yeah, you have to degrease it first, don't you, Peach? It don't matter. don't matter. <coughs> yeah, give it an age look, won't it? What did you do when you, oh, old hickory? Yeah. We're all said it'll take two people to handle our chair. Uh, put down the limbs, the second person to um, take the string off. Yeah, with these, with, these are more powerful than the old ones. <coughs> Harry Dent, you're right, mate. Lewis said madness. Good idea having the light on the rail, though. Do you know what? I think it was you, or it was after I did it, I saw you did it, and then it made me think that's a good idea. 
the you know, um, but I do think it's better on top because it lights up the rail. I think I thought about having it on top, and then you got a you did a crossbow video, Lewis, and you had the light on there as well. And when I saw that, I thought, yes, that that shows exactly why you'd want it on the top, really. Weapons and stuff, Liam. Happy birthday, mate. Hope you're having a good birthday. He's uh, just got in from bowling and dinner. We'll be on for a bit. Uh, enough to do a quick stream myself. Nice one, mate. Yeah, happy birthday. I'll have to miss that. <laughs> Private one, you know, members one or um, normal one. I'll have a look at that in a minute, Alex. Saying, Lewis said, looks like something the Americans uh, would be into. Lewis fits in, uh, pizza fits in the pocket. Sparrow said, if you do a mini GI Tanto replica bayonet, I'll take it. Just let me know the price. It won't be a lot. You know, it ain't going to be a lot of money. I just, I don't want to say straight away the price because I don't know yet, but it's not going to be a lot. You know me, none of the stuff I do is expensive to, if you bought it somewhere else. Ravi Ninja said, could you recommend any weapon racks that mount on walls? Probably not, Ravi, because I, um, most of my stuff, I, I just make it. I mean, um, the algebra by ply, ply, plywood and hooks. Big Ped said, just paid for the repeating crossbow adder. Has anyone got one? Uh, yeah, Sparrow's got one then. But yeah, they're very expensive, these torches, but um, I've never paid for one. I, get, I got sent them to review. Phil said... Do you still sell Tomcat 2 stock extenders? I do sell the quivers, Phil. I've got one right there and some in the back. I don't do the stock extenders, though, but I do sell my own quivers if you want to buy one of those. £12.50 with the bolts. If you email me, Phil, if you look in the description of this video, there's a bit that says about donations and then an email. That email, weaponclip to one at aol.co.uk, and then just say, you know, can I buy a quiver? And then I could send you it tonight. Uh, Pete said, little as a tall rack now. And again, oh, nice. Sparrow said, yeah, your stuff is bargain of the century. Yeah, it definitely won't be a lot, put it that way. It, it'll be a bargain. Oh, Riggs has got the adder. Big Pad said, yeah, mate, any further in the bolts? Um, yeah. And Saint said, I know... Joke. Saw a deactivated AKM for 2,500 quid. Bloody deactivated gun. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Well, I'll have a love and look for this link quickly. <coughs> or just, I, I'll tell you what, post it on a normal video. Just go to my latest video, um, whoever was doing it, Alex Saint. Post it to that. But I don't, I reckon YouTube hiding it. Fucking thing. Um, where am I? Community tab. Itchy nose. I better not keep going off. And I come back. So many fucking comments. Hello, Slingshot Warrior. By the way, nearly I missed you then. Um, he said he'll be doing a Frog Togs review soon. Nice one. Surprise! It adder is good, but another hundred quid for a plastic magazine is a rip off, in my opinion. Should be aluminium for that price or three D printed. I did not know it was plastic, actually. Liam said, oh, when we were bowling, every fucking lane, all the twats took their masks off. But sorry, I forgot to ask about it. I was so into the fucking stuff. Yeah, I hope you had a good evening tonight, Liam. At least you got out and about to do something, didn't you? How many of you went? Was there quite a few of you? Hello, Freddy. Uh, Pete said, 2.5k for a DAK AKM. Must have been something rare. Yeah, now you say that. Yeah, because even that, which is technically an AKM, was only 225 quid. There's only 2,000 of them ever imported into America. Things you said he hasn't asked for one. Irishman. Oh, oh, Irishman was saying, are you going to make an ant's head thing sort for Gamekeeper John? <clears throat> but yeah, these are old, old, old like things. They're fucking really well made. But yeah, and all the ones I've had, really good features, some of the best things I ever had. But, um, yeah, 250 quid for a light that goes on your gun. That's probably that's probably more expensive than most guns you're going to get in it. That's over here. Pistols. I'm glad you enjoyed Borat then. 
Where did you watch that then? Is that in the cinemas or is that just just watch it on? Or no, that's just on um, that's on demand, isn't it? Jamie, you're right, mate. He said, Paddy said to Murphy, I'm stuck on the crossroads. Flight of bird from Iceland. Six foot seven. That's easy, Fred. Uh, Murphy, frozen chicken. Right, I butchered that. John Page, you're right, mate? Uh, big pet at lol. Uh, my many questions. Uh, ones, mate. I'll give your email the box. Oh, yeah, nice one. Nice one. Yeah, email me. This is my email. Let me put it in the thing quickly. I'll have to do a fucking, um, yeah, email me about quivers and bolts and that. That's right, isn't it? I saw uh, whoever wants some out. Um, these bolts will be for sale soon, and you will not find any bolts like this for as cheap as I do them. Uh, not that I know of, anyway. And I was the first one doing them. If there are, they're just copying me, anyway. Um... Well, where am I? Richard said some 3D printed is a ripoff. Some 3D 3D printed thumb rings and archery, the same price as more than brass. <coughs> Caught up a bit there. Going mad tonight. I hope everyone's liking the stream. Alex Saint said, if you think about it, couldn't you make a pump stock? Um a bump stock for an M1 ground, making it full auto. I suppose you could. I, I don't really know. Great, so nice. They're making some DX with plastic charging handles now, so you can still mock cock them. That's, that's it. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, why not? I think that's a good idea, really, isn't it? Better than all welded up and fucked to pieces. Josh said, does Gamekeeper John live in Wales too? You know what? I don't actually know. I've not spoke to him for a long time. Um, I used to speak to his dad quite often. Because his dad used to quite regularly come on my channel. Um, yeah, but then he, I don't know, I think he lost his channel and went on. He stopped going on his dad, anyway. <coughs> I think bump and bump stocks. I think bump stocks are illegal in this country as well. Yeah, and Pete said, yeah, bump stocks are banned in the U US, and they definitely will be in the UK. I'm pretty sure they are. They were on the list of added things. James said, Mike, I got a Mark One Lifco old Smith Bren today. Came in the original transit chest too. This thing is mint. Belongs in the museum. That sounds amazing. You, you ought to do videos on them, Jamie. If you if you don't, if you do, you'll have to let me know. Zing so, said, so I sent him a link to the ant's head design. Sparrow said, glad you're doing the broadhead box, mate. Um, folks in free fragile razor uh, broadhead box, 25 quid. And that, that is shocking. And it's a piss take, really, isn't it? Free, free fucking bolts should not be that much. Um, yeah, I think it's fucking ridiculous. Wolf's head said, what does a bump stock do? It essentially makes the gun sort of bump and sort of move back and forward while you're pulling the trigger, and it makes it bump sort of while you're pulling the trigger make really quickly, making it essentially shoot like it's full auto. It's Yeah, basically that. You know when people do that, oh, there's like a trick you can do anyway where you can sort of, you know, pull the trigger. It's similar to that, but it's a stock des designed to sort of make a yeah semi-auto shoot like an automatic. Gumball said, Pooch, yeah, DMB do the resin and metal ones. Uh, still not as good as the proper cock and click there. No, it's, it'll never be as good, but I suppose it's better than nothing, isn't it? Pooch said, you can always bump fire, but it's pretty pointless. Yeah, you can do the bump fire without a bump fire stock, can't you? There you go, Alex Saint, Saint. It uses recoil to push your finger at high speed. Yeah. Slingshot said, have you ever thought about making and selling panna darts, Mike? I could probably do that. Um, I've never looked into it yet. I don't know what the market would be. Because, see, with, like, these crossbow bots, people really want them. Uh, and I can sort of massively undercut anyone who sells them in the shop. Um, 
because they're all fucking extortionate, basically. But yeah, I probably could. I'll look into that thing. So I'll see what if people are interested in them. Um, Zed said, "Bump fire." Uh, is about guns. I thought it was another term for premature ejaculation. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Sparrow said, love bump stop videos. There's always like yeehaw. <laughs> Hold on for dear life scenarios. Fuck's sake. Pete said, I'll start selling knives when I make a few more. Knives, I look forward to that. Um, Liam said, right, I'm off to do my birthday stream. If any of the members not watching this one, have a good evening. Yeah. Good night, Liam. Have a good one, mate. Happy birthday. Pinky said, I used to bump fire, but the doctor gave me some pills. Um, Wolf said, said, how much for the bulks, man? I think, I'm not 100% sure, Wolf said, but I think I'm going to do them about three quid each. So, and maybe at most 350, I'll see. But, um, yeah. Considering anything like that is about, if you try and buy the ones you can find online, they're, they're seven quid without the postage. So they come to about eight quid each. So, yeah, I'll do them free, 350, I think, because it is costing me about pound fifty to make. Quid for the head, 50p for the bolt, um, and then the labour. Not no, not tonight. Next week, when I when all the qu when not the quivers, or well, said when the bayonets are done next week, I'm going to do a video with all the bayonets, all the broadhead bolts, and all the quivers all together, and then everyone can just sort of jump in. Then, but people who have mentioned it before will get their um, you know, I'll save it for them. James said, "How's your dad's memorial getting on?" I need to print out some pictures, and then I'll be um finishing that. Freddie said, I've got a mount for my scope to video what I shoot. Me and my mate are going to see we can make videos. Yeah, that'd be good, Freddie. You do that. <clears throat> Gorka, he said, just realised the decoration was printed. The stuff is really there, though. I'll show you, Gorka. I have to cover it up for live streams. But if you're still there, it's actually really there. I have to, but for live streams... YouTube changed their rules. You're not really supposed to have firearms on live streams. <clears throat> Sparrow said, I only bump fire blanks uh, now after two kids. That's sake. So he sort of said, what's your next project, Mike? You know what? I don't know. Um, funny thing is, um, Richard asked me that yesterday, and I don't actually know. Got nothing planned at the minute. Um, something will come up. It's nearly next week when I get the Patreon money. I can buy a couple of things to make stuff. Then it's just I ain't really got nothing to do because I've got nothing. You know what I mean, I ain't got nothing to nothing to do with anything. Ninja Rabbi, you right, mate? He said, "What would be shipping for those to the US? And we'll be better off sourcing the parts." You could. Um, I could send them to America, definitely. Um, <clears throat> I've got someone who's going to sell stuff for me on eBay, US eBay. So if you wait, eventually, if these are what you mean. But no, I could probably not a lot. They're small enough to go in like a letter package. So not a lot, Ninja Rabbi. <clears throat> Pete said, put that sheet back. It might trigger me. <laughs> Uh, see if he's a Christmas themed weapon, fire at snowman. Good idea. I need to get some pumpkins soon as well. Yeah, get your quivers in. There's there's a load of quivers. I've got about 16 quivers going. I'll have about 100 bolts going soon. Um, for maybe four or five bayonets. But if it all sells out, I'll make more because it's all it will all be going to buy more stuff to make more stuff. That's it. Oh, God, I saw guns. I must go and kill some school children. Lol. <laughs> Yeah, I love you, right, mate? How are you? <clears throat> Freddie said, I think you've gone up 1K this week. I reckon you were at 31K last week. Do you know what, Freddie? I don't know. That'd be nice if I did. Hello, by the way. You've been on for a while anyway, ain't you, Freddie? Jamie said, um, Christmas coming up. Are you going to start making and selling knives? I really want that cutness you made. I'll look into it. I'll, I'll try and get some done for selling. 
Make a heavy duty candy cane, yeah, fuck's sake. That's actually quite a good idea. Alex Saints, have you made a dagger? I've not made a dagger yet. No, you'll know it if I did. <clears throat> Irishman said, while I think of it, I want to recommend a documentary called The, Phenom the Phenomenon that came uh, came out a few weeks ago. But UFO cover up and sighting. All right, sounds good. <clears throat> Weirdly enough, Irishman, I was just getting back into sci fis and sci fi horrors. Not that that's. Um, you know, that's a documentary. But, um, yeah, I do like anything sci-fi related, especially sci-fi horrors. I watched last night... Um, oh, Circle. You seen that? That's quite a weird one. Um, Circle and uh, Dead Space um, Downfall animation. Seeing so you should make a metal reinforced quarter staff, Margo. I remember you saying about that. Um... <clears throat> Dear Love said, aliens are demons. Wolf said, said, I want one of those short swords. You cut bottles with, Mike. I'll pay you a handsome purse one of them. But I probably definitely will sell some of them, make some of them to sell, because loads of people wanted them. So, yeah, look out for that. I'm just a bit slow on the fucking uptake for things, but <laughs> it feels too much like work if I have to start doing it regularly, don't I mean? I like doing it how I do it, because it still feels enjoyable and like, um, like a hobby. As soon as I start doing it every day, I feel like a job and then I won't want to do it. But it will come. It will come. City of Figs, uh, Dead Space, uh, very fun. They are good, aren't they? They are good. <clears throat> Tap said, watched 401 Files uh, YouTube channel. I remember you mentioning that. Is that good? Alex Saint said, do you know you can buy a genuine scorpion tank for 30 grand? No, I did not. Daniel, right, mate? Big B said, what length box do you make? Um, inches or centimetres? Or should I just tell you both? 18 and a half centimetres or just over well, seven and a quarter inches. Josh said, have you seen Blood, Blood Quantum? I haven't yet, Josh. Actually, I've got that ready to watch. Iron Man recommended me that. Uh, uh, Wolf said, have you seen the new Doom? Um, or do you mean the games? I like both. Bingshot said, you can make a sci-fi prop ray gun. I wouldn't mind doing that. I, I, I like the old prop stuff. And I said, uh, what do you want? What did you want to do when you was? What did, yeah. Well, when I was younger, what did I want to do when I was older? I got asked the other day the greatest thing I've ever heard from a three-year-old who asked me what I wanted to do when I grew up. And I thought, yes. <laughs> That's a great compliment, asking me what I want to do when I grow up. I thought, yeah, good on you. <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I still haven't decided yet. Um, I don't. I all the typical things as a kid, soldier. Um, yeah, be in the army, boxer maybe. I think I'd better. <laughs> well, so I I own every Doom game that ever was made. Nice. The Doom games are fucking epic. The films. Quite often, I find missed opportunities because um, they don't have all the really cool fucking demons in. But the new one, I it's got 3.6. It's better than 3.6. It, it ought to be at least five. Daniel said, "I've been, I have been watching terrorism, close calls on Netflix. Mad watching what people have planned. Yeah, that sounds yeah, that does sound quite interesting." What have you been at lately, Dan? I ain't seen you on the old live streams, you know, the old Twitch. I haven't been on for a long time, but I've been on the last few days. So I said I wanted to be a train driver when I was a band. Uh, friend said he wanted to be a farmer. Doing shot said he wanted to be a killer clown. Joking. <laughs> he said, how about the ray gun from Killer Clowns? I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I've always, I've been tempted to do the um, Rick Sanchez's um, sort of ray gun thing. I always wanted to make one of them. I wouldn't mind having a Rick Sanchez fucking old ray gun from Rick and Morty. 
But yes, kind of clowns one does sound good, slingshot. Richard said, I think I can make a profit selling my smaller anvil, a bigger one. I think I'll just take a small loss. Uh, but wait till COVID is gone. Yeah, do that, Rich. If you reckon that'll be best. Um, Dad said, I haven't decided if I'm going to grow up yet. There you go. Yes, exactly. I agree with you. Big B said, never knew what I wanted to do, but thinking about being a lorry driver recently. Yes, yeah. Yeah, go for it, mate. Damien said, you wouldn't like it in the army because you don't get to keep the weapons. I know. <laughs> Thomas Herbo said, I wanted to be a copper. And as you can tell, I lacked ambition. <laughs> Ninja Rabbi said, ray gun with a burning laser pointer. Nice one, yeah. Uh, Daniel said, been busy with work and the baby have been keeping me up uh, a night. So I've been falling asleep. Ah, bloody hell. Yeah. My chest's been hurt and it must be getting cold again. Um, yeah. I've got a chest injury that never really gets better. As soon as the weather starts getting colder, it starts playing up. Alex saying, well, if the stream gets a little bit quieter, I'll tell that story. The problem is it's a bit... If I tell it, I'll be massively behind. I was going to say that 48, I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Exactly. That's it, isn't it? Things like that sounds good. Yeah, maybe one day I'll make a Rick Sanchez sort of ray gun thing that he can open up portals, his portal gun. <laughs> yeah, he missed slow mode. Slow mode would fucking out. <clears throat> but yeah, it's difficult on here. If I um if I start doing long stories at certain times, I'm I miss all the chat. Freddie said, Yeah, I can't really do the Twitch streams. Not good for me being up every day. You know, I, I, you know, I don't blame people for not coming on the old Twitch, but um, yeah. <laughs> Tactical dead coos in the chest pain. He's also acid reflux, mate. Uh, I thought you was joking for a second then. Yeah. Um. Well, this is this is an injury I've had this about twenty years, and it always comes on when it starts to get cold. Um. And I definitely never had acid reflux then, but no, I, I appreciate that. Could yeah, certainly could be, but I don't reckon it is. Um. I reckon the cough could be, though. I'll look into that, though, um, Tactical. I appreciate that. It's just this injury. I've had it for so long. I, as soon as it starts playing up, I know. Because it, it doesn't... It's not inside. It's like, it's my actual chest muscle. It's not like... It's not under the ribs. It's on top of them. And you, and you can sort of feel it is. That's the only reason I say that. I, I thank you for the tips, though. I do appreciate that. Uh... Chris Budinger, you're right, mate. He said, What's with the caps name something? Armory, bloody unscripted by accident. Can't remember the channel. No, I don't know, Chris. What, do you, what, do you explain what you mean there. I don't know what that is. Court captain, corporal captain, captain corporal. I don't know. Is that what you mean? Anyone know what Chris is talking about there? I don't know, mate. Slingshot said wanted to be an inventor. I would say, Slingshot, you and me and quite a few of the other people who are in these chats are inventors in a way. I've invented things. You know what I mean? I've never got rich off them, but I've certainly thought of new ideas and created them. I think you have. We're just not what you'd call like a traditional inventor. We are. I think a lot of us are inventors, though. So I said, my mother wanted me to be a copper. I said, didn't see the point. Uh, told her I spent enough time in the police station as it was. Exactly. See you later, Rich. Good night, mate. Big Pads had been looking at getting uh, the old Uzi. Yeah, I used to have an Uzi. Deactivated Uzi. Tactical said, no problem, mate. Get the same stuff. Yeah, I think I. Sorry, Stings. Uh, tactical. I. What I said, I, was, I, I did realise I may have sounded slightly rude. Um, that's why I sort of explained a bit more. I don't think you thought about it like that. But, but yeah, I've had this pain for so long. You can feel it's on the outside. Um, yeah, it's like a muscle. In, I've, I'll tell you what I think it is. I think it's inflamed cartilage in my chest due to an injury. But I do think, though, you're right about the um, coughing that I've got. Because I cough for no reason. And I quite often cough after I've been eating. Right, where am I? Alex said, the army 
It's such an interesting job. I originally wanted to be in the infantry, but recently looked at being a mechanic in the military. Um, has anybody got any tips? <laughs> Tactical Teddy was very friendly, lol. <laughs> no, I just, you know, I don't want to be rude to people, you know what I mean? I'd, I'd never go out of my way to be deliberately rude. Not to people I like, do you know what I mean? Um, Al Ryan said, thanks, Mike, for a great stream. Have a good one. Good night. Good night, mate. Um, Freddie said, have you got a way of stopping the test pain? Luckily, yeah. I'll tell you what gets rid of it. Um, deep heat. If I put deep heat on my chest, that that is like a... It'll sound weird, but deep heat on my chest is like a fucking wonder drug. It's lovely. Put deep heat on, and it almost instantly stops it. Yeah, um, works perfectly. So yeah, I have got a I have got a form of medication that works really well. Luckily, uh, I used to get really bad at some point. So so bad, I would have to put my arm in a sling so that I didn't move any sort of muscle in my chest. <laughs> Not DP, fucker. <laughs> Deep heat, ninja rabbi. DP, no. Yeah. Chris said he makes knives like at home. It is home. Uh, a blacksmith thing. Eric Hussein has got some of his knives. Do you know what, Chris? I don't know who that is then. Yeah, because I know who Eric is. I know our Eric. Yeah, he's a good bloke. Eric, Eric gets on these streams sometimes, but he often doesn't quite get on them because I think he's at work right now. If I stayed on till after 12, sometimes he gets on because that's where in his time he's finished working. Or on a break. Um, I'll tell you what, Chris. I'll look into that. Um, I'm not. I don't think I'm quite sure who you mean, but um, it doesn't ring a bell. Let me look that up quickly. Tactical. I yeah. I think that may be what it is. Um. Yeah, my mimic heart attack. Yeah, I have thought that once. Now I know what it is. Um, did it say what cause? Yeah, injury. A blow to the chest is one example. Yeah, physical strain. I That's what I think it is. I've had it for about 20 fucking years. Um, that, I think that's what it is, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, though. But luckily, it's quite mild. I've only got it ever so slightly at the minute. It's just a little bit. Um, I need to just be careful how I sit. Uh, but if I put some um, deep heat on, it's for me, it works brilliantly, which I'm very grateful for. You know what I mean? Jamie said he was in the Devon and Dorset Regiment for six and a half years, but had to come out with knee trouble. Well, good on you, Jamie. Anyway, I didn't know that. Zed said, if you want to stop pain, one of those vile and wicked up the ass things, I had to take or do the job. Jurassic Mark, you right, mate? He said, is that a musket on the wall? Uh, which, what, here or here? It's not, though. I've got some shotguns up there. I have got an AK bayonet, and I'm going to make an AK bayonet for a... For, there's my AK and bayonet there. And I'm going to make an AK bayonet for one of these. Oh, Rich has gone off, isn't he? I was going to say, this is the, um, the file one. It's got a fuller on it as well. Can you see it? <clears throat> Big Pets have been looking at getting the boys uh, the wall toy, the Uzi 9mm for the man room. The price of the deactivated toy have gone up. Yeah, a lot of money now, ain't they? Mine I got was 150 That sold mine. Tactical, that not last year, it's a bugger. Yeah, I've never been confirmed that's what it is, Tactical, but I reckon that's what it is, yeah. I've, I've looked into loads and loads and loads and loads of different things. And I think that's what it is. I've literally had it for 20 years. It always comes on if I do um, certain certain weights or certain, you know, exercising or working will make it hurt. And every time the, the weather drops a little bit. Because I always used to think when people used to go on about, you know, older people saying they like living in Spain because the weather, you know, don't feel so achy in the hot weather well now i can appreciate that <laughs> wolf said mike is the kind of guy you, know, you see sitting in a dark corner of an inn a lot of the rings yes exactly <laughs> you got me down to a t there wolf said joe green you're up mate 
Uh, where am I? Pinfire shot. No, no, none of those for Pinfire. <clears throat> Iron Man said, Mike, you're up for a deep heat on a special place, Dan. I accidentally got some deep heat in a special place the other day. Yes, and that burnt like fuck. Because um, I did Mount's hardwood floor for him. So I was rubbing it on the backs of my thighs and went a bit too high. So I've already experienced that. <laughs> right, Iron Man, by the way. I said, most medicine is mental. You think it works? It fixes your brain to stop pain. Well, there you go. Sparrow said, when can we expect the bayonet to quiver? Oh, I don't know. Let's think about that one. Good idea, though. I like that. Joe Green said, I almost thought that was a gun. Till I saw it was a crossbow. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very equipped um, <laughs> crossbow. So it's got a stock extender, um, sling, Flashlight, red dot sight, quiver, handle, bayonet. This is the works. But I reckon this is this is about as good as I'm going to do them, I think, for me. I may just take off that end, that one inch of the bayonet. It only needs one, one lug on it, one fastener. I oh, read that. Matron Mark said they banned toy guns here. The police said jail blaster guns uh, with an upgraded spring because of welt. And they banned them under firearms law. That's mad, isn't it, Mark? That's utterly, utterly insane. Yeah, our laws are like that. Zed said, if you had to take them, you wouldn't laugh. <laughs> Raping yourself twice today is horrible. What is that? A suppository. A big old thing. It looks tablet you have to put on your ass, basically, isn't it? Matra said, uh, Mark said, yeah, soon sticks and stones will be banned in Tasmania. Peter said, I have to be careful. I'm sitting at the computer and working, all my back pops out and he's a bitch. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Peter, I'm getting slight sciatica where I've been on the computer for so long, like this week, doing my bloody, um, doing my um, Halloween videos. Them zip ties, Freddy, they're just to hold it on. I was experimenting because I wanted to see... You know, if it was worth putting there, I'm going to glue it later. I did say that earlier. You should have been listening. But yeah, I didn't want to put it on permanently until I knew it was worth putting there. Yeah, it's got a proper rail. There's not a rail on this, but under there, that's an actual... Um, there is an actual proper rail, which I'm going to glue on. But I needed to know, you know, it's in the right place first. <clears throat> Joe said, do you have a U.S. military survival knife? Um, yes, I suppose I do. Oh, well, I've got an old, I've got like a Rambo, um, Rambo survival knife. I've got the old, there you are. Do you mean something like this? <clears throat> I'm going to stick it far enough. There you go. There's where it came from. Anyone ever bought stuff from there? Stringtown supplies. Ninja Rabbi said, just need to make a magazine for it now. You know what? I actually did one night. I um, One day, I did make a um, magazine for these crossbows. There's an issue with them. What happens is, because they've got this bar just there, when you cock it, I actually made a magazine for these, but it wasn't really worth, you know, you need to start, if you need to start modding the crossbows, people don't want to do it. <clears throat> they just want to bolt something on and then be done with it. They don't want to start modding their crossbows. That's the issue. So I made a magazine for these. What happens is, when you cock it, that bar goes back, the bolt drops down, but as you push that bar forward, pushes the bolt back out again. So what you could do, you could either have a real bolt, a pretend bolt, real bolt, fake bolt sort of thing. So the, the fake bolt drops in, the fake, the fake bolt gets pushed out, and then the real one drops in. Shoot it, fake one drops down, fake one gets pushed out, like a dummy one. <clears throat> or take that rod off, 
But but I don't know whether it would fuck up the um. I don't know how secure them arms are without it. <laughs> Brandy said, "What's your favourite knife brand for budget?" Ganzo, one hundred Ganzo. Your mother, you right, mate? Good to see you on. My man Spartan said, "Mike, do your seventy-two hour minimalist." Get home kit. Have I got that written down, Iron Man? Because I've got, I wanted some ideas. Um, all right, I'll do that, Iron Man. Actually, Iron Man, do me a favor. Comment on my latest video saying, don't forget to do a 72 hour blah de blah, and I'll do that. Wolf says, has anyone had one of those tactical hiking, um, hiking poles? Are they any good? I haven't. Stacy, you're all right. Good to see you on. What you've been doing tonight? Zed said, yeah, one of those things, about 45 caliber size, uh, I guess. They're bullet shaped. You have to put the blunt end in first. They have to go right up. Yeah, I've never had that, luckily, um, Zed. Then just, yeah, they're probably better off making one for the Cobra. Yeah. Chris said, found it. Oh, Londinium Armory. Is that who you was looking for? Fucking, I know who Londinium Armory is. Yes. Sorry, um, Chris. Yeah. Oh, good old, yeah, good old Londinium. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good bloke. He is. He comes on here. He's one of my mods on here. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. I um, I couldn't work out who you meant. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. He is Londinium. I like him. Stacey said, just tuned in. That's fucking fantastic. What was that? The um, what the bayonets and that? Is that what you mean? The crossbow? Yeah, I got one of the. I got one bayonet done now. There's one on there, but that's two. Um, yeah. Cheers, I man. You know what I mean? I couldn't find my pen, so I would have written it down. Freddie said, "Did you see the songs I sent you? I haven't listened to them yet. Uh, I ain't listened to any more since last time, Freddie." Stephen Murray, you're right, mate. Uh, Joe said, I opened up an MRE and was disappointed it didn't have coffee in it. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Do you have to buy, do you have to get one with that, if you know what I mean? Dara Love said, there are some good hiking umbrellas out there. Freddie said, has Londinium been on recently? It came on today, weirdly enough. <laughs> yeah, because I'd, I'd noticed he hadn't been on for weeks, and I was going to message him saying, you know, you're all right. But he, um, he came on today. Yeah, I'd done a video today, because it, it was making me laugh at the end of it. Also said I was looking at umbrellas. They're basically a mobile shelter. You seen those um, these ones? They're a bit they're a bit expensive, and you can get other versions. But they're solid as fuck. Stacey said Matt and I just watched second Borat movie on Prime. Bloody brilliant! And Liam said that was good. Yeah, was it? Is it good then, Stacey? That, that is good. Tamara said, "Have you ever thought about sussing out the best length?" Um, and doing your own backbone for limb, Mike, selling that. Folk would be well up for a power upgrade. Um, I don't know where to start with that, in all honesty. Thank you, Iron Man. That comment just went on. I don't know. What would you make them out of? Um, yeah. Joe said, I think they stopped putting it in them. What's that? Oh, coffee. Yeah. Samuel, you right, mate? What country am I from? I'm from England. Major Mark said, okay, got to go sand down my car. Good time. See you later, people. <laughs> P.S. COVID is a scam. See you later, Mark. Take care, mate. Have a good day. So, so that reminds me, I put different list of the music on uh, video you asked for. Cheers, mate. Um, yeah, I've not listened to any more since that day. I'm going to leave it a bit, and then I'll do another, like, four hours. It's just I've been doing so much other stuff. I haven't been in the mood for... Um, music but i the good thing is i know it's all there it's not going to go nowhere so um anytime i want to i um i can go to them and listen to them one good thing i would say though sparrow i know everyone i know people would really like around power upgrade i must admit though these new crossbows are so much better than the old ones I've never felt I needed a power upgrade for these for these pistol crossbow ones, purely because of how much more powerful they are than the old ones anyway. Um, but but I know what you mean you 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 know it can never be powerful enough, can it really? But um, these are nice that these have got a decent upgrade to the old ones. Uh, 
I haven't noticed that, Freddie. I don't know. He said, doesn't it feel quite hot recently? I don't know. You're saying that. I, there was a couple of days where I was quite hot. Yeah. Don't forget to get your merchandise in, everyone, by the way. T-shirts. Mugs. Stickers. Joe, so how long are you streaming till? Um, half eleven, maybe, maybe twelve if it's if it's you know going good. The fire said, "Yeah, Horizon and the Tomcat do a piece. Um, you know what it's like, though, mate. We like tinkering and modding. I I totally agree with you, Sparrow. Though, yeah, I do totally agree with you. Um, yeah, that that you know you can never have enough power. But um, yeah, the one good thing with these, I." They are a lot better than the old ones. Stephen said, I was going to put a few songs on, but I'm into Gabba. I don't think you'd like it. No, do it, Stephen. Put that on. Put it on. Yeah, I've heard a bit of Gabba. Anything, mate. Trust me. I'll give it a go. I'll, I'll give every song that people put on there, I'll give it a go. And I may like it. I may not. But it don't matter if I don't. At least I've tried it then. Because the whole point is I want to be introduced to songs and types of music I've never listened to. Yeah, put it on, Stephen. I'd like that. You're off, Wolf said. See you later, mate. Good night. Freddie said, are you going to be on tomorrow? I think so, yeah, yeah. I've got no reason. I'm not planning to go out tomorrow. Ted said, if the pistol crossbows were any more powerful, they'd be a bastard to cock there. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Um, they would be. Um, yeah, that's the issue with some of the things that get sold. George Sprav makes some of the shit he sells look piss easy to cock. Now, if you give that to, you know, a small woman, she potentially may struggle to actually cock it. The, the best one I've found for cocking is this. This, with the um, stock extender on, is a lot easier to cock than the, the horror zone. The fucking horror zone can actually be quite difficult. The red back. Joe said, do you have any gas marks? I have got some. I've got a um, Spassiani, 2000, Spassiani TR2002, a Nokia M61 V2, and a couple of other ones. Three of those crossbows, not crossbows, three of those gas marks were given to me by um, weapons and stuff. Sparrow said, could always send you to Jaxi at some point for inspiration. We'll sort it out one day. The Air Love said, Mike, if the COVID is a scam to distract us, what do you think that the powers that be are preparing to do? Um, anyone else? What do you think? I don't know. Uh, we won't go massively into that because that can turn into a really big sort of thing. And then, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. No one's ever proven to me that it's real or it isn't. Uh, you know. But I'd wear a mask, you know. Who knows? I don't want to go. We won't go into this. Carl, you're right, mate. The prop the problem if we start discussing that, there's a lot of ways it can go. And um where am I? Iron Man said, Mike, imagine when you die, you're in a big cinema and the staff show you the movie reels, and you can watch all the different paths you could have took in life and watch your life. Yeah, that'd be fascinating. That would be fascinating. Yeah, we won't do the um the COVID. The, the issue is it it can also divide people massively, and people can actually really start disliking each other over it. And I don't want that. Um, yeah. But I know there's a lot of people in here who don't believe it, and there's a lot of people who take it very seriously. Um, yeah, I take it reasonably seriously. I want my mum to catch something like that and die. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. But we won't, you know. Uh, Stacey said, Matt said thanks for the birthday wishes last week. Um, and all you've done on the channel over the years. Proper original YouTuber. I'd buy an extra large T-shirt to wear as a nighty. Yeah, you should, Stacey. <laughs> you have to sit and have a look on there, see if there's anything you want. And if I don't do it, let me know. And... Um, I can make a thing for you. You know, some of the products, they do products, but I've not done designs in it. 
Carl said, fell out with loads to boo something. That's the, that's it, Carl. That's it, Carl. That's it. Um, it 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 can actually divide people massively, and that's not what I want on my um live streams. Um, I just want us to have a laugh on here. We we can keep that kind of stuff for other places, but um, yeah. Sparrow said, Tomcat two of the hundred pound Jaxi limb upgrade. Very little cocky power required. I think that's because of the extra long stock on it, isn't it? Joe said, oh, Stacey said, what are you drinking tonight? Just water and black coffee tonight, Stacey. Um, where am I? Joe said, I have to find an M40 gas mask for cheap, cheaper on, on eBay. They're expensive. They are, that's due to the Corona stuff, though. You can blame that on that. Weirdly enough, I'm going to do an EDC video tomorrow or the next day, and it's nearly fucking 30 minutes long because there's about a seven-minute discussion about masks on there. Um, Carl said, how's the spooky videos going next week? Should be good. Uh, it's going to be excellent, Carl. I'll tell you one thing, really interesting, right? Um... You'll, you'll, you'll find this very interesting, I reckon, Carl, when you watch it. it it'll, it's going to be about two hours long with a live stream, and it'll be interspersed with me, and then I'll introduce a story, and it'll come back to me for a bit, and then I'll introduce a story like that, or something like that. Anyway, it'll be something around those lines. Um, Carl, you'll be surprised how many of you lot have seen very similar things. It, it it really surprised me, actually, the amount of people who described very similar things. I won't say what, because I want you not to have a um, surprise. Yeah. Big Pet said, uh, tactical hiking pole. Junk, mate. Don't do it. <laughs> Cheap shit. Freddy said, what time are you going to start tomorrow? Um, 9.30. Oh, Halloween stream. I don't know. Maybe, maybe 10 till 12. I don't know yet. Um, I will. You'll know anyway. There'll be there'll be a thing that you can click to remind you. There'll be a thing you can click. <laughs> Carl said, "Holy shit, can't wait." I'm not insane. Yeah, you wait, Carl. When I've been doing them, it's been fascinating for me hearing everyone's stories. Uh, <laughs> to the degree I did, I took nine hours um, editing some of them, doing ten of the videos. Fuck me, I. I was jumping at things at the end of the night, jumping at my own fucking shadows at the end of the night. Well, it'll be similar to clicking the bell, um, Joe. There'll be a thing before this video goes live, it will come up in your subscription saying it'll be on in two days. There's a little thing, there's a little thing underneath that says click to remind me. You click that button and then it will tell you just before it starts, it'll send you it. Sparrow said, stock extender is a godsend. The only thing is, I wouldn't mind getting the print files, sending it to the company um, for high-def print UV-resistant filament. Yeah, that'd be good. You'd have to ask him. I don't know. Alex Saint said, Mike, if you could unban any law in the UK, what would you unban? It would be the... Um, it would be... I would make all of the stuff that's banned on the offensive weapons list legal to own in your own home and buy and... Buy and own. You can't sell it or import, though. Uh, export, sorry. But you'd be able to buy it and own it. Because you couldn't buy it, even. Stacy said, night, night, Mike, from both. Oh, good night, Stacey. You know, see, I'll be on tomorrow. Good night. So it takes me so long to get down to the comments. You're probably gone by now. Good night, Stacey. Good night, Matt. Daryl said, I just did a video of some fire retardant clothing for my bug out bag. Nice. I'll catch. I actually, I have seen that on there. Um, dear love. Freddie said, "Are they spooky?" Once you've been editing videos for nine hours and keep watching it, watching, watching it twice that night. I um, what was the first one made me jump? I can't remember. Something made me jump, and then my own shadow in the kitchen window made me jump. I was that on edge. Well, it'd be like watching nine hours worth of um horror films. But they're all supposed to be true. They're, they're, that's not surprising, really. It kind of makes sense when you think about it. it yeah, it was fascinating, um, uh, Zed. 
Yeah. But quite a few people had seen very, very similar things. But yeah, it makes sense, though, doesn't it, now you say? It sort of would, wouldn't they, you know? Alex Saint said, do you want to do the ACAP story? Yeah, no. That was said, if we're watching this, um, I think we're already a bit nuts. There you go. <laughs> um, Pete said, yeah, ban silly YouTube rules. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, and there's there's no you know there'll be no piss taking from my end. Um, there's there's one I won't tell you who. I shouldn't even really tell you because I was going to leave it as a surprise. One of the videos is a joke, but it's not taking the piss out of other people. It's just a joke um, story. You'll probably guess who as soon as you see them on there. <laughs> um. All of the others are deadly serious, and one is I'm allowing it, but it's off topic. The other said, Do you think Bigfoot is real? I don't know. I don't know. Um, a lot of those kind of things, you know, they could be total bollocks, <clears throat> but they could, you know, there could be a bit of real. Real too. I really. I'll be honest with you. I don't know enough about the Bigfoot kind of stuff. Joe said, "Do you like U.S. fire trucks or the um, U.K. ones?" I can't think what either of them really look like. Joe, Carl said, "Bigfoot is real. Uh, best site out to hunt." Nice. Stephen said, "Speaking of horror films, I watched uh, Hereditary, Dynamite, Must Watch." Right, hang on there. Hang on. Where are you? Where are you? I've got it on vid I've got it on DVD somewhere. Um, where's my hereditary? But unless it was there, I can't get to it. Yeah, I like hereditary a lot, Stephen. Yeah, great film. Where's my DVD of that? Um Yeah, I don't know where that is now. So I'll look down here quickly. Oh there it is. Yeah, there you go. Good enough to buy. Um, that's actually worth a second watch as well. The second time you watch it, you, you'll see stuff that you never noticed the first time. Tactical Pirate said, uh, UK goes, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> US goes, get out of the fucking way. Steven said, that bit with a naked guy standing in the doorway. Oh. <laughs> a great film, though, isn't it? Alex Sainz said, what's the better, Train Spotting or Pulp Fiction? Oh, I don't know. That depends. I think they're very different films. Um, I don't know. I don't know with that. Carl said, the real scary shit is the missing 411, The Hunters. I remember you talking about that, um, Carl. We'll, we'll have to try and watch that one night, some of us, and then I'll talk to you about it. Um, let me write that down quickly if I can find my pen. Yeah, I found it now. Finally, Iron Man. Um, and I'll I'll give that a go tonight, Carl, and I'll talk to you about it. <laughs> Iron Man said that chain spot is better because there's no gimp in it, or is it not as good because there's no gimp in it? What was that? Um, But I remember you mentioning that before. Oh, it's on Amazon. Nice one, Carl. I remember you mentioning it before. Stephen said, yeah, I just heard of the 411. Have I seen Snatch? Yeah, I got Snatch on DVD just there. Yeah, I like Snatch. I got all of um, Guy Ritchie's sort of gangster films. <sighs> yeah, I'm actually, I did a... I did a um, EDC video today, and as I say, it's got a seven to ten minute discussion on masks. Because I wanted to address people who do believe in it and people who don't believe in it. Um, but I may actually cut that bit out because it's very fucking divisive. It does, it does, you know, people don't like it when you, when you don't agree with them. Peter said to me, between your streams and weapons and stuff streams, I have. Ton of films to watch over Halloween. Nice. I'll tell you what I've been watching lately. Did I say earlier? Uh, Joe Green said, UK laws are so weird to me. 
That's sad. I take it you don't like deliverance, then. You're scum. Iron Man said, Mike, make sure to stick up any the meds that you and your family need. Restrictions may be coming. Thank you, mate. Uh, good, good idea. Daryl, have you heard of the giant of Kandahar? No, I've not. That sounds very fucking interesting. I had my phone dying. I'm going to charge that. I keep forgetting to charge it. I have a habit lately of leaving my phone to go completely dead. Um, I've not heard of that. Um, yeah, that sounds really interesting, though. What was I going to say? Uh, what films I've been watching lately? I'll tell you in a minute. Ethan, right, mate? Good to you on. I'm out said Zed. I don't like the movies. Them movies. Scum is worse. Poor Davis. Carl said, have you seen the NHS text video saying I could have the sniffy flu? Yeah, that was fucking bizarre, Carl. Wasn't it? What the fucking hell is that? Oh, I did see that. I watched it. Yes, very bizarre. <laughs> you can have the sniffy, Carl. Fucking bizarre. Nice one, dear. I'll look in there. He said the giant of Kandahar was in Afghanistan. Yeah, well, I remember Kandahar. I remember from you know, like the Iraq, the Iraq wars and that Kandahar getting mentioned all the time. <laughs> Unreal. It made me laugh. It's yeah, bizarre, isn't it? As far as I said, after having two kids, family life for ten years, you and Liam are the closest things to I have to socialize. <laughs> well, I'm glad. You know, I'm not glad that you know, but I'm glad I can help people out because you know I'm not far off of you lot anyway. Do you know what I mean? I'm the exact same situation, so I know how it feels. Um, yeah, these are like a Friday night out for me. But I enjoy it. I have to get out every now and then, though. Joe, I was supposed to go buy a Pascot helmet this weekend. Uh, how much is that going to cost you? Test, you're right, man. I haven't seen you on for a while. Test, that's good to see you on. Test, are you the Test who used to, who's been subscribed to me for about 10 years? Um, I've just registered that. Yeah, have you been subscribed to me since I've knuckled us today? Or was that a different test? I haven't got any kids. No, I've got a, um, I've got a niece and nephew who I look after every couple of, um, you know, two days a week. Alex said, honestly, Mike, these streams are a laugh, and we all love them. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I just remembered there was, an, there was a test from years ago. A 55 bucks, Joe, that's good, isn't it? Thanks for I'm down the virtual pub chatting to people here. That's it. That's it. Isn't it? I'm out of dear love. I have the same Viper tactical plate carrier. I also got the plates from Amazon. Um, NX Saint said, you should have super chat on your series. Sadly, I can't. I'm not allowed it. I would love to have super chat on my um, streams and all that and memberships. Not allowed. Feel free to go on Patreon and support me, though. Because Patreon actually massively helped me out. The good thing of Patreon, it pays for videos, but also if I start getting a little bit skint, I can spend 10 quid's worth of the Patreon money on this kind of stuff, triple that money, and then invest that back into the channel sort of thing. Um, so it always means I've got a backup if it ever comes to it. Tess said I'm good and you. Yeah, I've been subscribed many years. They haven't seen much of your videos and they stopped appearing in my feed. Um, I used your videos to build brass knuckles back in the day. Oh, excellent, Tess. Yes. Nice. Yeah, it is you now. I thought it was. I didn't register. I've seen you come on a couple of times. I didn't register. It was you till just then. Oh, nice one, Tess. That's good. Um, yeah, that's good to see you on. I am good, yeah. I'm on Instagram now, sharing some old knuckle duster pictures. Carl said, redhead giants were wiped out in North America by the Red Indian tribes. They were cannibals. Sparrow said, thanks for streaming, bud. Steven said, I thought you were allowed super chat if the weapons had a curtain. I'm not allowed super chat because I've been completely demonetized. Yeah. What's my Instagram? Weapon Collector Mike. I couldn't have Weapon Collector. Some bastard already nicked it. Weapon Collector Mike. Do you want me to share it? I've only put like four or five posts on there. But I will be putting more on because it will help me get publicity for this, really. There you go. Alex, I said, shame the brass knuckles banned. I know. 
Our man said, dear love, 28 quid. Stop for 44. Sparrow said, can you not appeal to demonetization? I've, I've, I've tried a couple of times, um, and they won't do it. What I might have to do, go through all of my old videos, and make sure none of them are breaching the rules, clip out all of the bits that are, and then try again. What would what I really need is to get a fucking um, get one of these like manager things that can do your management for you. They take a bit of your money, but you know I don't get none anyway. So even if they took ten percent, you know, I'll look into it one day. I have I have tried to appeal. They won't. That said, what about uh, coffee or whatever it's called? You buy virtual coffees, get the cash. I'll have to look into that as well. I've heard of that one. Well, there is pay there's Patreon and there's also PayPal. Just as I say, can I send you a donation? And I'll give you the I'll give you the thing. Um, what am I doing now? But yeah, I'll look into some of them. Thank you, Tactical. That's a good idea. Freddie said, What what made you do Instagram other than bribing you every week? Um if you just get saying why you've done it. It's another way for me to share my stuff, basically. I have to share my stuff to other places because YouTube don't. My videos get sent to like 200 people, and I'm sure 100 of them are coming to it out of choice because they want to see my videos. Oh, that's what I was going to say, Test. While you've probably not seen my videos, YouTube just don't bother now. I upload at least a couple of times a week. If I did get monetized again, I would just um, I'd just do super chat and membership. I wouldn't do ads because they're too fucking weird about it. They don't like ads being on fucking um. They don't like ads being on weapon stuff anyway. <sighs> yeah, I reckon, Freddie. If I got to hundred k, they'd probably let me then. Yeah, shame, isn't it, Joe? Sparrow said, yeah. If you ended up getting super chats, I reckon you'd rack up a lot of folk out here. Appreciate what you're doing, mate. Yeah, and I'll look into it one day. It's I doubt I'll ever get it back, but yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Though? Not a lot I can do. But I will probably, I'll try again soon. Um, it's a lot of bother. I, what I'll do, I'll go through all my old videos, make sure none of them are violating the rules. Um. I'll tell you what I have been getting lately, actually. Every fucking day, my videos are getting um, age-restricted now. So, not when I upload, but every, every day when I wake up, I look at my emails, and I have another email from YouTube saying, this old video that's been on for 10 years has been age-restricted. And they're all knuckle-dust videos. Alex said, so Michael, I saw an extendable baton on Amazon. This is a hiking equipment. Uh, is it still technically legal? I don't really know. I don't know. I don't like to say whether it is or not. I wouldn't risk it, though. Tess said, even though I'm subscribed, it doesn't show up. I have to visit your channel manually. They didn't even show up in the subscriber feed. That's YouTube doing that, you know. They're, they're cunts like that. I've got 32,000 subscribers and they send my videos out to about 1,000 people. And then out of those 1,000, there's only, like like I said, 100 who've put the notifications on to get all notifications. <sighs> it doesn't matter. I, I'll never stop doing YouTube. I enjoy it. And I, I, I get enough out of it. I don't put it this way. I don't get as much out of it as I should. You know what I mean? Other channels like me earn a lot of money doing this kind of stuff. Well, I get nothing. Um, but I get enough to get by. I can use, because my YouTube, I can always use to sell stuff, you see. It, it is a good way for me to market quivers, £12.50, get the box as well. Proper amount. Uh, <laughs> bayonets. For your crossbows, if you want to buy in it. Um, yeah, I can always use it, even if I don't get nothing out of it, I can use it for that advantage. Jamie said, Do you have any grenades? No, I got rid of all my inner pretend grenades purely because I keep getting raided. I don't want them shitting themselves over that, thinking I've got grenades and then bringing in fucking um, 
bomb squad or something stupid over a fake grenade. So I got rid of them just in case. I have to be sort of super fucking legal. Even though they are legal, I don't want the issue of them crap in their pants and just being cunts. And You know what I mean? I may not get raided again, but over the last 20 years, my house has been raided about six times. Never for YouTube and never for the weapons, though. But I reckon I'm on some kind of list. Grackma, you're right, mate. He said, ah, oh, the wonderful world of censorship. Yeah. YouTube is one scum. Exactly, Grackma. Exactly. I agree with you there, mate. Carl said, I'm struggling with 380, but I do it as a hobby. Well, so do I. I, I this is this is my hobby, and I really enjoy it. Um, it's just, yeah. And I, I use it to my advantage, do you know what I mean? For other stuff. Oh, I say that. Th this is my hobby, but it also is my living as well, really. That's why it's slightly different for me, because I don't actually have oh, – I don't work, and I don't sign on either. I've never been on any um, – it's more – it's too much of a pain in the ass for me to do. But um, yeah, but I just about scraped by with what you know what I can get out of YouTube. But I don't get a penny off of YouTube, but I can use YouTube to sell, you know, my broad ads and quivers and you know what I mean, and and Patreon and that. Yeah, give old Carl a good old sub. He's worth a sub. Bob, sorry, I saw you on Bob. How are you doing, Bob? You're right, mate. Good to see you on. Bob's on, if anyone didn't see. Oh, Carl said he's going to do a more and knife. Uh, you going to? Oh, he's going to do a giveaway at four hundred. Uh, that's good of you, Carl. Cause you quite often do them. Uh, Sparrow said. Uh, at this point, we know YouTube as, 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 as its own agenda, as it's not a free idea platform. Uh, as soon as they censor a controlled content, they become publishers. It's very weird what YouTube do, because it's very selective as well. You know, the channels that make them shitloads of money, they don't mind sharing that. Firearms people who, who earn, you know, probably earn their millions of quid. Oh, they love to, they love to fucking share them channels. Can't really. NX Saint said, Mike, have you ever surrendered your weapon to the police? No, I've never had anything illegal for them to take. That's what you mean. Um, even if they came now, there wouldn't be a single illegal thing here because I want to keep all my other stuff. You know what I mean? Um, they've took my crossbows once. There was a bloke called the Crossbow Killer or the Crossbow Cannibal, and I had CID around here, and they, they was saying... They tried to tell me that crossbows was illegal. So they took every crossbow I had, including all my homemade ones. Um, but I knew I'd get them back because I knew they was legal. So they did their, the, the weirdest thing of all, though. Do you know how they checked whether they was legal or not? They had to look it up on Google. You know, so they literally know fuck all. So, yeah, so you see the idea in that. I had to look on Google to find out whether crossbows was illegal or not or whether they had power limits, found out they weren't, bought them back. I often wonder, though, if I check them crossbows over with a um, ultraviolet light, I wonder if there's markings on them. Steve, you right, mate? And he said, just got home, glad to court you for a few minutes at least. I'll be on for, if it, I'll stay until half past, but if I'm enjoying it, I'll go on later. Good to see you on, Steve. They told me, so they couldn't find the info, so they had to look on Google, yeah. Oh, Tactical said, I watched a couple of those Dr. Brawls. Did you like them? The funny thing is, I watched the load last night as well. Um, yes. I, uh, yeah, they're good, aren't they? Glad you like them, Tactical. Steve said, yeah, PewDiePie makes Nazi jokes, but it's okay because there's millions of subs. That's exactly a good example. Um, piss take, really. Uh, yeah, he can get away with that because he earns loads of money on that. And like I said, no, I'm not on about antiques replicas. As I say, every, everything I get's leak, everything I have is legal. Well, like, so they've never took anything of mine. Um, yeah. Where am I? Carl said, just to pay back people who bother to watch my videos. Been pulled a few times in the street and on camps. 
Uh, so that's, oh, that's good, Carl, yeah. What people say hello to you, do you mean? Yeah. Peter said, oh, he had a look to Google. Yeah, they told me. They said they couldn't find any info, so they had to Google it. Sparrow said, funny thing about PewDiePie is YouTube's now restricting his outreach because they're not happy with him. Now, there you go. So he is getting a bit of an issue then. So, yeah. So even he does then, yeah. Steve said, how long did it take you to get him back? It wasn't long because sometimes it can wasn't a thing. Um, I'd then back within a month. Yeah, I've had boots and jeans that took me over a year to get back once. Alex said, have you seen the police officer who tried to stop a musician on the streets and seized his instruments? No, I haven't. That don't sound very good. Jay said, do you have any blank fires? Mate? I've got a... Um, I've got a 2-2 blank fire, but I don't actually have it here at the minute. My brother's got it. Carl said, yes, mate, like a film star. Um, dear love said crashing out Mike have a good one good night mate yeah take care dear love uh, Freddie said why did they take your boots and jeans because I'd had a fight and the, the boots and jeans had blood on them so they wanted to check whose blood it was alleged fight I should say I'd had an alleged fight um, my boots had um, yeah Boots and jeans had blood on. They wanted to see. There was there was evidence basically. Steve said that's thirty days too long. Well, exactly, exactly. James said, Mike, if you got raided while doing one of these live streams, would you keep the camera on? <laughs> I don't know. Pro uh, possibly not. Because I wouldn't want to risk all this chat going on while it was happening. But I have security cameras anyway, and I would put. I don't. I'd be tempted to leave it on actually. Yeah, um, but probably turn the screen off. So turn that screen off, and then it'll still be recording. Um, but I've got security cameras, multiple security cameras that will film it all anyway. Last time I got raided, I I put a video on about it and showed some of the footage with the police's faces blanked out. But at the time, because there was potentially could have been a, a case going on, in the end nothing happened at all, um, I hid the video and took it down. Um, that was 2017. <sighs> You're right, um, slingshot. Thing is, that don't happen over here. Even if you tried to get someone swatted in the UK, it'd never happen. Police don't burst in people's doors on, like, the evidence of someone just ringing up, you know, with no sort of background. Ninja Rabbi said, probably turn the stream off so you don't get banned for police handling files. Yes, <laughs> you imagine. Yeah, they also don't come around with guns either. <laughs> Bob said, I protect my identity on YouTube. You never know who's watching. Exactly. Oh, don't blame me, Bob. I don't blame you, mate. I, I know. I know. You know what I mean? Um... Yeah, it's a shame, but yeah, I know the score. Peter said, "Keep recording. You have your own. Yeah, you have your own record. Exactly." But as I say, I've got multiple security cameras. Um, it's not a thing that would ever happen in the UK. They don't sort of, you know. Down the past, I still remember copper chasing me around A and E. I'd fallen off a milk float which was outside, and they still tried to arrest me for burglary. That's sake. Alex said, if you have the spare room in your house, you should put it all, all the expensive stuff in there. Put a bulky door there. CCTV. Good idea. Yeah, good idea. It's good to see you on, though, Bob. That went straight over my head. I thought you was telling, you know... Where am I? Slingshot said, what's the UK's most notorious outlaw in history? Robin Hood. Um, who's the other one? Um, who's the highway bandit? Um, oh, yeah, it was true story. The cop was a joke. You know, um, Dick Turpin. Dick Turpin and um, surely the biggest outlaws, Dick Turpin, uh, Robin Hood, and maybe the Cray Twins. 
I don't know. Jack the Ripper, yeah. I'd say Robin Hood, though, Carl, as well, yeah. I'd say Robin Hood, but was Robin Hood fictional? Alex said, seeing the crime rate go up, I might consider walking around with a tactical torch. I even went to the extent of carrying around a stick in the woods at night. Spring Hill Jack, Zed said. There you go. Yeah, if, I, if I'm walking around the woods or late at night past 12, because there is some dodgy shit that goes on around here. There's been some weird shit of um, little cunts on mopeds trying to stop people and doing shit and other stuff, car loads of people trying to do stuff to people. Um, so I would, um, yeah, I, you know, I carry a big mag like around shit like that. <clears throat> oh no, fictional character. I'm thinking of um, King Arthur. Isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> All gets muddled into one car. That's what happens when you have to talk for two hours. Uh, um, yes, that's it. Dick Turpin stand and deliver car. Exactly. Tactical said, cut my hand and fell onto a couple of pints of milk. Blood was found at the shop that had been robbed. Uh, bloody float was outside, thank fuck. Freddie said, rosary beads are good, Mike. Remember the rosary smack. I, I, I don't know what that is, Freddie. The only times I've ever seen rosary beads was when I was in fucking prison. And you weren't allowed a radio unless you went to fucking church. Luckily for me, my um, cellmate was prepared to go to church every Sunday just to get a fucking um, radio. You had to borrow a radio from the church, basically. So you had all these fucking idiots walking around with fucking rosary beads on, probably to get a fucking radio to listen to. Because on A wing and B wing, you don't have nothing. There's no tellies. So you want, you want a radio. That's the only time I've ever seen... Um, only for a little bit. I was only like six weeks, Joe, when I was 20. That's the only time I've ever seen rosary beads. Stephen said, you know, the easiest thing would be a campaign for your guns back. I'm surprised there are no uh, concerted efforts. It's too much of... The problem is, Steve, there's not enough of a sort of gun culture in this country now. Like, for all the people who are into it, it's ingrained in this country that guns are bad to the average person. You know what I mean? Guns are um, a bad thing. They're a killing instrument. You know what I mean? In this country. To, to a lot of people. That's what It's not like in America where it's thought of in a different way. It's completely... It's, the general public wouldn't be behind it. And the people who were wouldn't be enough, I doubt. No, I could be wrong about that. So some of the cold steel walking kicks are pretty sick. Yes, I, well, yeah, yeah. This was inspired by one of the cold steel ones. So that comes up to there. So just this is the right height for me. But this is quite a beast of her own. And it has got an ever so slight bend in it. But there's not a lot I can do about that. But that's mango wood. That's a beast of one. That's based on her. Um... Stephen said Farage did say it once. So I, I remember, yeah, I don't think, I don't reckon it would ever happen. I don't think there's enough people. As I say, me personally, I think if you ask the general public, most of them wouldn't be, wouldn't back it. Peter said, I grew up on guns where they were tall. That's it. The people who know, know. But the problem is, a lot of people who know nothing about weapons and stuff like that and guns, they're all brought up to think all weapons, anyone who has weapons is a nutter. Anyone who wants a gun is a potential killer. Why, why do you need guns? They'd say, 
and I say I may be wrong, but um, I don't think we'd have the support. And I can't see the government. You know what I mean, I could be wrong. <clears throat> I hope you all went and followed me on Instagram. Death sent to the sparrow. I have one of those. They're pretty good. Walking sticks are legal to carry, by the way. Don't have to have a limp. Uh, Singshot said, so it's a smear and a sword. It's not a weapon. It's the intent. Exactly, exactly. Bob said, I think weapons are art form. So do I. So do I, Bob. Sparrow said, too many snowflakes in the UK. Now scared of their own shadow. Well, we'll never get our arms back. Exactly. It, it wouldn't happen, would it, Sparrow? But I like the sentiment, and I appreciate it. You know, it'd be good if we could, but um, I couldn't ever see it. Good night, Freddie. Stephen said, I think it's because we have no wildlife here. In countries where wild wolves, bears, cats do exist, um, they see guns as a tool. Exactly. You're right there. Yeah, you're right. It's different when they can be used. A lot of people... And it's just, there's not, there is a gun culture here, but in America, er, virtually everyone in America is brought up with, you know, whatever it is, the right to bear arms. Every single person in the country knows it. Um, every person appreciates that they can have that if they want it. Over here, it's, it's not the same. There's none of that. Steve, uh, yeah, Steve, so I'm glad. I'm here in Kentucky. So far, we can add them. Unless Biden and Harris get in, and the Republicans lose the Senate. Lars said, what explains the knife attacks that we have seen in the past years? I ain't going down them lines, I know we. <laughs> uh, um, Alex said, why did they originally ban battles? I haven't got a fucking clue, mate. I haven't got a fucking clue. Because they were probably getting bought a lot. That's normally what it is. People are buying shitloads of them. They see a couple of assaults with them. Ban it all. Well, I remember when they did it, because you used to be able to buy them in catalogues in the, in the late 90s, mid to late 90s. Bob said, here in the States, guns are used for mountain lions, wolves, bears. That's it, Bob. And because we've got nothing like that, they're not really for other people to see a reason for a gun, if that makes sense. Think shots said, I think there's more people that support your position, Mike. Uh, but silent majority. Uh, but you think you're the minority. Well, as I say those things, the problem is it's 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 not a thing in this country. People it th there is there is, you know, obviously people who would support it, but the general public who have never seen a weapon touch one would not say, I want people to have a weapon, because it's just not a thing. You, if you've never touched a weapon, seen a gun, and all you've ever seen is films where people shooting each other, sort of thing, you're not going to go, "Oh yeah, I'd love everyone to have guns." You know what I mean, oh, as I say, I may be wrong. I'm not claiming I know everything. Um, yeah, I don't know why they got banned though. But yeah, Pete said, uh, I don't know why they got banned originally. When yeah. Because when I had it, you could still own it. You can't even own it now. Peter said, many people can't even see the artistry in weapon making. They're just blinded by media bias. Exactly. Yeah, you know, if I got one of those Bowie knives out I made and said, look how nice that Bowie knife is. You know, it looked really nice. Look at the guard. A lot of people would not see that in the slightest. They would just see, look at that great big fucking knife he's got. In fact, a lot of people, when I show my great big bow, is their first thing they say is, surely that's illegal. Because they see a great big knife and they think, surely you can't have something that big. Because a hammer and a screwdriver is a tool, so is a gun. There's too many snowflakes to understand even target shooting. Exactly, Carl. That's that's the issue. I, you know, it's a sad state of affairs, but we would I, I can't see us ever getting any weapon related or firearm related um laws back ever and if we did the people running this country I think would be potentially dangerous because the only times I've ever heard laws that 
would bring back certain um, staff was prepared to do some other very dodgy shit. Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be right. Tactical said, um, more cops have died of natural causes while at work in the last few years from the line of duty. So I said, gun culture is almost like a secret society that isn't spoken about because people jump to conclusions and so against freedom of choice. <laughs> Big Fred, yeah. Too many wee dicks that would fuck it for all. Exactly. Being shot said, maybe you should move, mate. Well, that's the thing. I actually don't mind living in the UK. This is the issue. I'm not I'm not complaining about our, our weapon and gun laws. I would like them to be changed, but I'm perfectly happy with what they change them to. I stick within the laws. I don't need guns. I don't need firearms. Um if I wanted a shotgun license, I could probably get one like that, but I don't want one. Um, I'm perfectly happy living in this country. I like the UK. Um, you know, I've got everything I want. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you know, if, if you want these things, you'll have to move to a different country, but I'm perfectly happy with how our laws are. <clears throat> Lafayette, you right, mate? He said, M203, M203 in my closet. There you go. Bob said, I like the UK. Uh, also been there several times. Cheers, Bob. Yeah, you've got a couple of um, got relatives over here, haven't you? Alex Saint said, you don't need guns either, but I'd like a baton for self-defense. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, don't forget to like the stream, everyone. Steve said, when they changed the laws... Do they grandfather in what you already have there? Well, this is the issue. Some of it not. Um, some of it not. Um, it depends what it is, Steve. A lot of the stuff at the minute, though, no. Like the DX, you can't. Technically, my deactivated guns, unless I got them deactivated to the new spec, I can't give them to anyone. They have to be destroyed after I've, you know, not here. It's fucking ridiculous. Carl said, I've been shot at in Northern Ireland, lived with guns, still got air guns, but I know how to handle one safely. Sparrow said, we have no chance of getting arms back with almost zero dangerous wildlife. Uh, no reasonable self-defence laws, we have no chance. More likely to be done for thumping a robber than the robber, exactly. Lafayette said, what type of weapons do you got? Anything, anything that's legal. As this for you. Not that it's a weapon, it's a sporting goods. But I've got a nice crossbow here with a bayonet on it. Uh, quiver. Light. Uh, and anything and everything that you legally have. Knives. Yeah, that's been well used. <clears throat> Alex said, couldn't I theoretically buy an antique baton? Yeah, sadly, there ain't none there. Let's not start having the conversations about, you know. Stephen said, how powerful is that tactical bow? Uh, can you buy... Like that. You can't buy it with all them bits. It's 80 pound draw weight. But if you've ever used an old, like there's three new crossbows um, the Tron, the Redback, and the Tomcat 2. They're, they're rated at 80 pounds. But if you buy any of the old crossbows or the old style crossbows, none of that used to say they was 80 pounds, they're not. These actually are. And they're nearly twice as powerful as the old crossbows. Big Dave, you're right, mate. Good to see you on. Steve said, um, do you get a good supply for AK bayonets? Uh, did you get a good supply of AK bayonets in for your crossbow bayonets? Um, I made one. I made one AK. There's one AK one. 
So there's an AK, M16, SA80, and a um, and another one. I heard that comment because it's just it's a discussion I don't want to start because I've said I've actually told people I don't want to start the conver certain conversations before um, because it turns into a anti-British thing, um, yeah, anti-UK thing. I, I like this country, I, you know. I'd never move away from it. It is an example of why I don't like the the unintentional um, UK putting down of. This I'll give you an example of why I don't like it, right? This is this is what happens, right? I don't think the people who do it are doing are doing it deliberately. But what it is, is if you imagined me chatting to you and I was saying I can't stand my wife, she gets on my nerves, she pisses me off, right? You would then not you wouldn't come to me the next day and say to me, Your wife's a stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because you have no right to say that. You know what I mean? Same with this country. You know what I mean? Um, the people who live here can moan about it, but it's not really fair about other people slagging off this country when, you know, they've never been here. They know really nothing about it. And, you know what I mean? And that's what it's like. It's quite personal. Yeah. That's, that's the easiest sort of example I can put it. It's like you moaning about your wife and then your mate coming up to you saying, the next, you know, the next week, you know, your wife really is a stupid fucking bitch, don't you? You would fucking punch the bloke, wouldn't you? Because <laughs> it's all right for you to say it. It's not all right for them to say it. And people have to remember that. That's that's the easiest analogy I can come up with for that. I don't know. It's all right, saying shot. I just that's why I just deleted it because I knew it'd stop it. But someone asked about it. Does that make sense though? That kind of way of putting it. Um, it does feel it does feel personal. Uh, uh, where am I? The bayonets. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, I've made about five or six. Um, <laughs> now, I'm going to allow this just so you can look. Or is this? Or is this for other people? You know, Zed got rid of it anyway. I don't know if that was supposed to be insulting me or someone else, but I'm certainly not a fat American. Someone obviously doesn't know their accents. Uh, the food master said, is that a condor knife on your wall? Where? Up here? I don't know if that is a condor or not. Smart said, I don't know, Mike. Um, I like to be backed up if the missus was being a cunt. <laughs> Which is more often than not. I knew someone would come out as that. Um, I don't think I've got a condor up there. That's a homemade knife. That's a little dagger. That's a machete. That's a little dagger. Bob said, I would live in the UK if it was warmer. I really do respect the British. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Steve, I'm pretty sure that most everybody has things they don't like about where they live. Exactly. Um, yeah. Well, exactly. You know, there, people will move away from every every part of the country to move somewhere else. Um, but, yeah. Big Pen said, the only thing I don't get is now after all the years is we have to get a license for air guns. Um, I'm all for no guns, but back in my day, you could get them out of a catalogue. Um, yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah, I, I got I got my air rifles out of a catalogue. You know. Yeah, that one there. Yeah, actually, someone else has said to me about they thought that was um, something else, <laughs> like a made, you know, bought one. Alex, and every British, every British is tea and scones and rain. So I said, Astra, I love Scotland, but dislike the SNP. Exactly. Slim said, since when do you need a license rare rifles? In Scotland, you do. Um, you don't down here yet. Scotland, you do. So said, have you ever heard about people who think they're born in the wrong country? I've not heard of that, but I have heard of people who reckoned they was born in the wrong time, the wrong century. Or people have often said um, that person should have been born in a different era. He would have been so suited for that. A classic one is Fred Dibner. 
Fred Dibner would have been amazing in like the Victorian times. Um, you probably wouldn't know who Fred Dibner is, but um, and I think he used to say, I'm pretty sure he used to say himself, he feels like he was born in the wrong era. He would have been, uh, he should have been around in um, Victorian times and steam steam times because he'd done steam engines and that. <laughs> Brad Dibner was amazing, wasn't he, Peter? Joseph, my dad said I was born in the wrong time. Uh, like old PCs. I was trying, yeah, I couldn't say that. I can get out. That food said, they say people in 100 years will be useless. I guess they should have been born then. Well, there you go. Zed said, people have often said I was born in the wrong time. They think sometime... After they're dead, <laughs> that would have been better. Let's say ah, some of the things you come out with. <laughs> Stephen said, "I feel I was born in the wrong time. Should have been a Viking, <laughs> doing country with a big sword and having five wives." There you go. And actually, I love it down south. Um, hang on. I love it that down south to buy a house, it costs you loads of money. I guess in Scunthorpe, you could live there for two grand. You probably could. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare, isn't it? Right. I'll be off about another 10 minutes. I don't know if I'll be able to do the whole, um, you know, till 12, because I'm dying for a piss now. I think, so, but I think I should have been born more in the American South. Where was you actually born then, Slingshot? Because I know you live you live in Baltimore now, don't you? Or Maryland. Um, yeah, it was, wasn't he? Um, Carl, Fred Dibnall was, yeah, fucking legend, wasn't he? Alex Saint said, uh, Mike, low-key, I'm looking into buying one of them mugs for Christmas lights. Get one, man. Get one. Where was I born? Same place I live now. Lived in this house my entire life. Well, no, I haven't. That's a lie. I lived in this road my entire life. I lived next door for five years, which was my nan's house. Six months in another house and the rest of my life here. But I've lived on this road apart from six months my entire life, really, yeah. My whole family had, actually. The first house that was built on this road was my nan and granddad's house. And then all of their kids lived in that house. And all of their kids, most of their kids, moved into houses on this road. So at one point, in this road that has approximately 60 houses, at least six of those houses, so 10% of the road, was people in my family. There's still about four houses on this road that are my family and a couple off the corner but yeah who's off whoever's off good night you're off tactical good night mate are oh, you born in rural country in maryland yeah the southern parents yeah i'll be on for a little bit longer um because i've got a bit of shit to clear up as well i still think with these bloody live streams i've got to um, spend after you cleaning crap up Tactical sledgehammer. Now, there you go. Uh, I could do the whole gardening set because Slingshot wants me to do a, a tactical pitchfork one day. Oh, nice one, Steve. That's an interesting place. Yeah, Enterprise, Alabama. I know there's quite a few interesting names in America. Well, as over here. But um, there's also quite a few. Because you get Paris. There's, there's a place called Paris, isn't there, in Texas. So you can say you've been to Paris, but really you've been to Paris, Texas. Yeah, Fort Rucker, there you go. Even better, man. You've got about the old pitch shot, did you? Slingshot, I thought you had. Big pad. <laughs> He said, um, 
Thank fuck we don't have open gun laws. Too many dicks hear that. <laughs> fuck yeah, you imagine that. You imagine that. Yeah. He said the UK the UK can be a fucking joke. Uh, but thank fuck we don't have open gun laws. Yeah, it'd be a different thing in this country because again, there's no respect of the gun in this country either. Guns are always, um, you know, guns are more respected in America. They're not over here because it's not a thing. How are they, um, Steve? Yeah, Paris, London, Baghdad are all here, Kentucky too. In Kentucky too. Stephen said, Have you thought of doing camping vids? I have got that kind of gear, Steve. I just never really get out to do it. Slingshot's definitely asking for an argument with that one. <laughs> Slingshot said American football is more brutal than rugby. I think people would disagree with you there. But I'm I'm not a rugby person, I don't know. Stug, you're right, mate. I am on t uh Alexa, I am on tomorrow. Carl said, born and raised in Barnsley and inventory in between. Back home now. Bob said, rugby is very brutal. Um, there you go. As I said, I think there'd be quite a few people who would disagree with it. Steve says, still, if you make it to the US and Louisville, I'll treat you to a day at the range. I, I, if I ever get over there one day, I will. I, I'd have to go over about six months, the amount of people I'd have to visit, though, Steve, but I appreciate it. Bob said, um, rugby and ice hockey. Those guys are tough. I suppose, to be fair, we've all been brought up with society with them. We probably respect ours more, purely because more people are detached from them here. That's the issue. You don't grow up with guns. So, to us, you know, you know, as I say, I may be wrong, but um, it's only my opinion on it. But, yeah, your average person who would want a gun would not have no gun sort of respect, if, if that makes sense. Um, most people want, would want a gun purely to potentially try to shoot people, wouldn't they? In this day and age, if suddenly tomorrow you could legalise it. Stark said, how's your day been? It's been all right. I've done an EDC video that's going to be about 30 minutes long due to a 10-minute bit in the middle of it discussing um, masks because I wanted to I wanted to talk to people about masks but, but talk to people who obviously do believe in Corona and people who don't. And my opinion on that sort of thing. It's a load of bollocks, but... but you know. And like I, said, I don't think people who live in London should be allowed to have guns, but people who live in the country, sure. Is that that's a slingshot? No, they even wear body armour. In rugby, they don't bother <laughs> with that Nancy stuff. I used to play rugby, by the way. But yeah. But that that's why people would say... Um, that's why people would say rugby would be worse than American football because the American footballs wear um, armour and helmets, whereas rugby they don't. Um, you know, to say why people would say it, I knew, I knew that would come up. You know, not that would come up, but I knew people would disagree with him straight away. For fuck's sake, Steve. Right, I'm going to end the stream here before... <laughs> Some of you are just asking for trouble, aren't you? For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <coughs> right. I'm off. I'll be on tomorrow about nine o'clock, all right? No, not nine o'clock, half nine. Sake. I do wonder about some of you lot if you just want a bloody argument. Oh, Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Stug. I'll be back. I'll be on tomorrow, half nine. Half nine tomorrow. Um, yeah. See you then.
Yeah, it's been a good one. I've enjoyed it tonight. See you all tomorrow. <laughs> good night. I've got to stop saying good night. Don't forget to like the stream before you go. Bye, everyone. See you later. We'll have to ag agree to disagree. Oh, my um, my EDC video. If I put it on tomorrow, I'll put it on sometime. And I'll have a uh, I'll do it as a premiere, so we can have a live chat down side of it. Don't forget to look out for this video at nine thirty tomorrow, though, because if I put a video on tomorrow, chances are you might not get a notification for the live stream later on. So just come on and look at uh, if I. You know, if I ain't on at half past, look again at 25.2, etc. Right. Good night, everyone. See you later. Cheers for watching. I appreciate it.